What's going on world, it's your boy Alex Miner, and if you're like me, when you first got into the world of independent filmmaking, YouTube, you might have been overwhelmed by all the choices out there, there's just too many, it's hard to know what camera to get, what lenses to get, and even what lights to get. And lighting is something that's so often overlooked, but it's so important because even an iPhone can be made to look like a professional film camera if your lighting is correct and your shots are well thought out. So what are you supposed to do? You want quality, but you don't have a big budget. Well, if you're in the world of YouTube, there's two names that you hear ring out over and over again. That's Aperture and Young Nuo. Now, both of these companies are Chinese brands, but Aperture is known to be more of a premium line. Young Nuo is extremely budget friendly, but people have doubts about quality. So I'm here with this new series to help answer some of your questions and help you decide which of these companies is worth your money. Welcome to the second installment of Aperture vs. Young Newell. Let's go. So for this contest of champions, we've chosen the Aperture AL F7 and the YN600 L Mark II. Now the criteria for choosing these lights was based on similar size, power, and price point. Yes, we can see there's a clear difference in size between these two, but the overwhelming factor in our decision was price, because on this series, we want you to see how far your money can go with each of these two brands. Now let's note the similarities and the differences. The AL F7 is a compact bicolor LED panel with 256 LEDs and a 45 degree beam angle. It's dimmable in 1% increments from 1 to 100 and has a color range from 3200 Kelvin to 9500 Kelvin. According to the specs, it outputs 1500 lux at 1 meter and has a 15 watt maximum power draw. Its key feature is that its brightest output is at 5500 Kelvin where it utilizes all 256 LEDs. The YN600 is also a bicolor LED panel with 600 LEDs and a 55 degree beam angle. It's dimmable in 1% increments from 1 to 99 and has a color range of 3200 Kelvin to 5500 Kelvin. According to the specs, it outputs 4650 lumens at one foot and has a 36 watt maximum power draw. A key feature of the YN600 is that even though the back of the light accepts two Sony NP style batteries for power, it only uses one battery to power each color. So theoretically, if you're only outputting daylight or you're only outputting tungsten, you would have a maximum power draw of 18 watts. Now, let's get into the testing. To keep things simple, in this test focused on real world applications, we're not going to worry about lux, light meter, CRI, or any of that. We're just going to set me up in front of the Panasonic G85, light my face with each of these and see how it goes. And to keep things fair, we're only going to use the daylight LEDs on the YN600. So that's it for this episode of Aperture vs. Young Nuo. In terms of raw power, 
the YN600 clearly won the day. And I have to admit that I was pleasantly surprised by this because I thought since we were only using half the LEDs that it would be a lot closer between these two. But I think this may have earned its way into my lighting kit. I still love the F7 though. Let us know your thoughts. What light would you choose? Leave it in the comments. Like this video if you thought it was helpful. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification so you know whenever we're dropping content. And come back and see us for the next episode of Aperture vs. Young News.